Welcome to Reviews of Tablets. Hey guys, today we're going to be doing my review on the new update for Polaris Office 5 for iOS 7. So let's check it out. First we're going to look at a slideshow. So let's get started with the slideshow. This is just a demo, a demo that I threw together quickly, so it's not that great. But let's start it from the beginning and see how it looks. All you have to do to go to the next slide is click on the screen and it will change for you. Uh, this is a video. This is how the videos work. The videos are not incorporated that greatly into the PowerPoints, but it's okay. So, and then this slide, this next one here, just has some sample pictures. Just showing you how you can get the pictures to look. Here's a chart that I threw on here real quick. And here's a graph that I threw on here also. And then here's the ending page. I didn't really change that too much. But that's the end of the demo presentation for PowerPoint. And you can also bring these over to your computer and edit them with Microsoft Office programs so that's pretty cool as you can see you can edit with this but I suggest using a Bluetooth keyboard which I will show you later in the video so now let's just go save it as this time and then you can save it as whatever you want to name it and then you just click the save button at the top and you can put it in any of those folders and stuff We'll go over the storage later, though. Next, we're going to be looking at a Word document. As you can see, I did a little bit of editing on this one already, but I will show you the basic Word editing. So you just go up to that wrench up here, and you can choose the font, the size, and the color. And then also make it lined up in the middle of the page or to the side or whatever. So let's just go to this font, even though I can't really read that. It looks pretty cool. And you can just change the color here, change the size of the font there. But I guess you can't change it to 60 because that would be too big. There we go, lined it up in the middle, and then you can change how it looks based on what it is. So there we go, and there's the weight. I changed that before. Now, if you just want to save it as the same name, you just hit save, and then it will save it. Next thing we're going to be going over is going to be the spreadsheets. Here's just a demo spreadsheet from... Polaris Office that I saved off so we could look at it. Oh, that was weird. Kind of glitched out there. But you can enter data into these tables and you have this special keyboard thing that they have, the Polaris has added, which is really cool because it makes it so you are able to way easier um, editing on these spreadsheets. So you can move around with these also. So that's pretty cool. It's a really nice addition to this program. So you will be able to easierly edit your documents. And then if you don't want to save it, you just hit the do not save, obviously. So let's look at adding new documents. You just hit the plus button up there. And then you have several several themes to choose from. Oops. So this is what one of the themes looks like. And then if you want to add a different kind of document, you just press that back button if it's going to load. There we go. And then you can add another one. We'll add a spreadsheet this time. And let's just do this one see how it looks and then we'll go on to the next thing as you can see looks pretty cool 
you can edit all these uh, details obviously but like before you have that keyboard and that's pretty much all you get for spreadsheets so now let's go into a PowerPoint or a slideshow I guess they call it on polar surface but yeah it's pretty neat that you can actually edit these on your computer after you're done with them on your iPad so if you are going somewhere you can quickly edit a document on your iPad anyway that's gonna wrap up this part now we're gonna go to the Bluetooth keyboard all you need to do to sync your Bluetooth keyboard is click the connect and then it should connect if it's your first time, you'll have to ter uh, type in a number on your keyboard. But then you can just go back to editing. And let's just go into a uh, text document. As you can see, all you really need to do is add text on these. There's not too many cool settings. But that's obviously what text things are for. And as you can see, the keyboard is working. And all of the cool little... Um, things that you can do with a normal keyboard you can do with this one on Polaris Office so that's pretty cool let's move on now alright everyone the next thing we're going to be going over is the browser option on Polaris Office this is where you're going to organize all your files on your iPad or iOS device it doesn't have to be an iPad so basically you can move them to let's say I go to this folder you can move them in here like that and then you can move them back if you want or just be done and then let's see so all you, what you can do now is click that and then there's a send if you click the send it will come up with the mail thing but I'm not connected online right now on my iPad so it won't actually work but it will load up a preset message for you so you can send it and it'll be the same with anyone that you look at. Anyway, guys, that's the end of our re review of Polaris Office for iOS 7. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel as it will help me out. But if you did not like this video, please leave a comment telling us why you did not like it so we can improve next time. Thanks for watching, guys.